because of my English level, but I don't know, like, I ask her question on the lesson, even if I, like, I don't know something and I want to ask her, like, I would put something else in here and yes. uh, uh -huh. why does it work, does uh -huh. it work, and uh, she's, like, thinking that I try to show off, but I just, like, want to learn a bit. So. Yeah. No, I, 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 I think she could be scared of you because of uh, you are you've got a very strong personality Anya you your English is fluent and she could feel like overwhelmed by you yeah well, uh, afterwards uh, I had to talk with her uh, psychologist at school yeah and she said that uh, uh, I have aggressive behavior. Yeah, really. But the way I sit, because you know I sit more like manly, so uh -huh. people call it. Uh, for me, it's just sitting comfortably because I'm too tall for our uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The staff at school, yes. so I just sit comfortably, and uh, I like to cross my arms because it's comfortable to me. And for some people, it like it looks like uh, I'm bad at them or something, but it's just comfortable for position for me. And I don't know. I was trying to talk Anya, to you put this. Yeah. You know that from the body language point of view, this position yeah. is uh, yeah, it's the sign that you are very defending, defensive person. Yeah, but. For my defense, uh, uh, whenever the teacher asks me, I always pull myself up on the chair and just sit normally with hands on the table. I like never answer the teacher with my hands closed, uh, crossed. So yeah, I, I just sit like this when I finish my work and have nothing else. Okay, to do. I just uh, tell me how was your uh, discussion with the school shrink. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I was really pissed that uh -huh. she was saying me like I should support girly and the stuff, and I was like, eh, "Hello, we live in twenty first century. I can sit however I want, and I'm not aggressive towards the teacher. And uh, the way I dress, the way I sit, should not like uh, lead to this discussion because like when the man sits this way, it's not a problem, but when I sit this way, it's a problem. So like." But she was a woman, so it was even mm -hmm. weird. Okay, Anya, what is the what's the way you dress? Uh, I always wear sweatpants and hoodies. That's all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's wrong with this? What's wrong with this? A lot of people think that it's like dressing like uh, typical Saba, you know. No, I don't. It's sub so subculture. Like, uh, like a person who is going to a soccer game is like a pathology and just stuff but it's not like that it's just comfortable and like i have a problem finding jeans on my height because whenever i find the jeans on my height they're mm -hmm. usually too wide on my hips uh -huh. uh, but when i find uh, perfect in hips and perfect in length mm -hmm. they are like uh, too small in my uh, size because i have a pretty big size because of my sport and yeah, yeah. because of my muscles on legs. So like the most comfortable way for me to dress is just sweatpants. And... I see. Yeah, I understand now. It just uh, how was it in the state? Because in the state, I have never had problem with jeans. I had my number, I had my mark, and I went to this. I used to go to the store. I did not try the them on at all. I just picked up two pairs or one pair, whatever, and I, I, I just used them with no problems. But in well, Poland... I started growing in the US, mm -hmm. still, I was still growing. Uh -huh. And uh, I went there with like a few pairs of sweatpants and like two pairs of jeans. Yeah. And like I started drawing growing and mm -hmm. I grew out of my jeans so I was like uh, thinking about uh, going and buying some mm -hmm. and then I was like six feet so it was pretty hard because it was a small county and we had like only one ball and I went there to look for jeans and now that fit me so 
So you had problems to get jeans in the yes. States? We Which shop did you go to? A woman pays for a tall person. Anya, which shop did you go to? I don't remember. We had like a mall. We had Victoria's Secret. Yeah, Victoria's yeah, Secret is some... not for jeans, lady. I know, but I'm telling you what we had. Mm -hmm. We had Victoria's Secret. Deep. How about Gap? Did you have Gap there? No, we did not. Mm hmm. Okay. We only have like I was saying, Victoria's Secret, uh, Dicks, and this one shop with clothes, and the rest was like. Uh, Technology, oh, okay, jewelry. okay, all right. It was pretty small, so I wouldn't have yeah. So, yeah, this and I hate shopping, so I didn't want to. I understand, I, I, I'm just curious. This is out of curiosity because in Poland, I just really don't know where to go to get good jeans. Where do you go in Poland? Nowhere, I just gave up. No, <laughs> yes, how about Gap Store? They don't have your size? I mean, I bought somewhere wore a pair of jeans, but I don't know if it was Gap or... I don't know what was it called, but I bought one pair of jeans there. And they were actually good, but there was the only one model that was fitting me. Uh -huh. But uh, wherever I go, I have a problem with height and with the size of my thighs. So. Even when I go, like for example, uh, CNDA has a section for tall people. Yes. And they're so too short for me. But this the style in this shop is not for you. It's for all the ladies, you know, it's like myself. Yeah, yeah, but for example, it's pretty weird because like uh, I buy stuff uh, with knife because like that's my favorite brand, and uh, I ordered pants last time. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the person in the picture, they were, it was like the model, and uh, they always write what size and what height. To have. Yeah. And it was size M and uh, height 188. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, I have 187, so like M will be too small for me because he was pretty thin. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I will go with L, it will be a bit longer. Yeah. And it just, Nike is so weird that they have all the sizes, like M and L are for the same height, uh -huh. but for the different uh, like size uh, of the body. Uh -huh. And so I was like, okay, even though it's like that, it will be fine because I'm only 187, it's for 188, so like, it's gonna be fine. Uh, and I order it and they're pretty short. <laughs> I mean, when I stand up and I pull them down, uh -huh. they're like really good, they're really comfortable. Or, uh -huh. really good. I love them already. But when I sit up, they go a little bit too up. So, uh -huh. like, like one time I was like in the factory uh -huh. and I was like trying out the Nike pants and they had even the uh, XL. Yeah. And I was like, okay, they're gonna fit and I wore, like, put them on. They mm -hmm. were definitely too big, but definitely too small. Short for uh -huh. me, even though I was in like uh, 180, so yeah. it was like, yeah, that's a disaster. But you can go and tailor the jeans, you can buy yeah, a I little can, bit, but I got used to wearing sweatpants and I just like don't like wearing jeans anymore yeah but no but jeans are are so nice to wear and it makes you uh, look nice and feel nice yeah but i didn't feel nice but because i mean whenever i wear jeans i'm cold because the fabric touches my body and Whenever wind comes or something, it just goes right through to my leg, so it's like cold. But my sweatpants uh, like form uh, the hot air bag. In no, I know. Okay. I'm I'm having problems to get the. the uh, Boże, jak jest dress po po angielsku, Ania? Sweatpants. Nie, ale sweatpants. dress. Dresses? Dress. Well, sweatshirt, of course, uh, but Sweat? I don't know how it's dressed, jako taki, wiesz? Zwariowałam po prostu, zapomniałam, wiesz? 
because I used to wear this all the time and now I can't get it. And this is a stupid name, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, nobody talks like this in the States, tracksuit. Yeah, yeah okay, but uh, I can't get a decent tracksuit in Poland now. Where do you go and where do you get it? I most of my clothes are from 4F because first of all they have clothes for all people uh -huh. that finally fit me and yeah like I have a lot of clothes from there and even at one point like I was uh, getting like uh, they had the Poland match for like uh, Olympics or something. Uh -huh. So I got my sweat sender, my uh, hoodie uh, uh -huh. for my world championships, and I was like uh, talking uh, because you spent pretty big sum there. Yes. So we were talking about it and with the cashier, and the cashier gave uh, gave us his uh, work uh, uh, business card discount. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and we were like laughing maybe we should write to for f to sponsor me because uh, this is the only company that yeah <laughs> yeah but they have a good quality clothes and like yeah pictures of my whole clothes is like for f so. yeah do and you it's a polish brand we can support our polish oh gosh <laughs> listen do you ever wear dresses When I have to. Do you have a dress? Yeah. Tell me about it. What kind of uh, dress? I have my uh, homecoming dress here that I wore okay. here in the United States. But uh, since I came back, I just feel more about suits and that stuff. And I'm still like waiting for my mom to have some time and mm -hmm. just go with me to like uh, make suit because mm -hmm. uh, there's mm -hmm. those women suits that can fit me so yeah yeah what kind of suit would you like to have what what would be the color uh, i think it would be uh, dark blue like a dark dark yes yeah, so like very dark blue. Yeah. yeah, I have like uh, pants, uh, from, uh -huh. but mm -hmm. they're getting a bit short, so yeah, yeah, I, I like it. But uh, I think like if we're going to make it, I'm not growing uh, anymore so much, like maybe one more centimeter or something. Uh huh. So we will just make a few colors that you can mix up and. Cool. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Like, when I was younger, I had like in the middle school, I had few like. What the colors like mm -hmm. I want now, but then I grew out of them. So. so, what are your colors, Anya? Uh, Nowadays, colors. yeah, uh, black, uh, white, and uh, dark blue. Dark blue, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. for yeah. Uh, suits, but like for clothes, I have only uh, gray and black pants, like sweat pants, uh -huh. and I have like whole wire, whole lots of colors in my hoodie section, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but uh, I like the black the best. Yeah, my colors are different kinds of pink. So like, even at my age, and I, I, I still prefer the like violet, the the burgundy or pink, dark pink, gray pink, and things like that. Yeah, I have like three, four pieces like pink and violet. So. Yeah, yeah. All right, lady. So let's go and ask you about the Polish classes because I would like to help you with Polish, speaking English but helping in your Polish project. What's your next project in Polish? I don't know. No, don't. Yeah, what do you mean? You don't know what you've got to to write I, about? Uh, I didn't uh, listen to my teacher on Friday because I was so pissed off at her for giving us so much homework last week. And my friends uh, said, like, 
texted me that she gave a lot 